All right, when you see four terms and it says to factor as your directions, you want to automatically think factor by grouping, okay? So you're going to put parentheses around the first two terms and the last two terms. As long as they're in the order, the, pre the exponents should go three, two, one, none, and they do. So I'm going to group those with parentheses like this. And then just looking at this first group, I want to see what can I take out that they have in common. So I'm seeing that these both have a 3n squared in common. 3 goes into 6 and 3, n squared goes into both n to the third and n squared. So I take out 3n squared. You have to write what's left over. So 6 divided by 3 is 2, n to the third divided by n squared is n. 3n squared divided by 3n squared is just 1. All right. Then what you want to do is you take out something to the second one so that the other part is the exact same as your parentheses before. So I need this to be 2n plus 1 because those will match my first parentheses. And if I look at this, I can take out a 4 and I will get that. So if I take out a 4 from this second set, I get 2n plus 1. And then the way you write your answer, I'm going to use the help of my red marker here. I'm going to write those parts are outside of the parentheses together, 3n squared plus 4, and then I just only write one of the parentheses 2n plus 1. Both those binomials together are how you factor by grouping.